Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday, and before I get to the album review part of this video, as that is the theme, I just want to take a look, have you take a look at the music that I have out from the library right now because it's a very odd mixture. Jay Z. Can't get on the camera. Okay, there you go. Modest Mouse. Death Cat for Cutie, um, different album that um, Stevie uh, reviewed. This is Transatlanticism, not Codes and Keys, although this is a good album. Plans is my favorite album of theirs. That album is actually really good, but I have to be in a certain mood to listen to them. Spoon, I've heard one of the songs this album. I haven't heard all of it yet, but it's good. These two are just to rip the MP3s off of because I have them all. I have this already, Tune Yards, Who Kill. Great album, one of the best albums from this year. And. Wilco's The Whole Love, which has weird album art. <laughs> then I got Queen, Shostakovich, because I'm the kind of guy who has Jay-Z and Shostakovich at the same time from the library. A live album by The White Stripes, and then finally Brothers by The Black Keys, which I know is good. I've heard good things about, but I haven't heard it myself yet, and I will. Katie, in your video you reviewed The National, and what's interesting is, despite your bad review of The National, which I find kind of unfortunate, because I haven't heard a lot of their work, but I have. I, I was at a classical concert. Bryce Dessner performed, he, 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 he composed, and he performed it along with Aaron Dessner and the American Composer Orchestra, a classical piece called, called St. Caroline of the Sea, and you reminded me of it with your video, and that, that piece is absolutely remarkable and I'll put a link to the doobly-doo in it. It, it, it I, I can't speak anymore how marvelous it is so anyway we're discussing um, albums this week I chose originally to do Childish Gambino's album Camp and I've heard the first half of it it's good it's not as great as I expected it to be it's not as great as a lot of critics are hyping it up to be but it, it is a good hip-hop album and from what I've heard so far, I just wasn't in the right mood to listen to it. So instead, I'm reviewing an album that I've been listening to a lot recently called How Do You Do? It's by Mayor Hawthorne. Mayor Hawthorne is a guy from Detroit. He is a... He is, is, and one of his facets is that he performs classic Motown-style soul and R&B music. He also does a hell of a lot of other things like hip-hop and DJing, and he's way across the map, but his main focus, at least for his thing as Mayor Hawthorne, is to do soul and Motown music. His first album, uh, Strange Arrangement, is pretty good, and this album, if you, sort of, if you combine the best of a Strange Arrangement and the best of How Do You Do, you have, in my opinion, one of the best albums of the decade, but unfortunately it's two separate albums. The first song, Get to Know You, is a bit long and not exactly rambly, but it should it should have been a bit more compact, a bit tighter. But it really picks up after that. The first half of the album is absolutely great because between the the second and the fifth tracks, you have four great songs. A Long Time, which is basically Mayor Hawthorne's love letter to his hometown of Detroit. It references Henry Ford and Barry Gordy, um, and I love that sort of thing. But it's actually a really great song, really captures... Um, Mayor Hawthorne's falsetto really well. Can't Stop, which features Snoop Dogg and is a great amalgam of, you know, old Motown style with like New Age R. Kelly slow jam. Dreaming, um, which I like if only because it's a really upbeat song and also because it references Groundhog Day. And The Walk, which is, again, it's really got a classic old school style to it, and it's cool. But then you have a song, a song like The News, which sounds like it's done almost on like this, you know, glockenspiel sort of thing, and I, I, I like that. It's got a weird sound, it's only a minute and a half long, but again, it's nice and tight and compact, and it works well into the next song. Whoa, sorry, sorry there, fan. <laughs> it works well going into the next track. Um, which is called You Called Me, and it's like the uh, the end to the news and the opening to You Called Me, a really good trans, you know, transition. That's the word I'm looking for. And, yeah, that's it. How do you do? Mayor Hawthorne, I recommend it. Great album if you like Motown. Great album if you don't like Motown, because he combines a lot of old school stuff, a lot of new school stuff, and I find that really, really great. I like that there's... A revival of this soul style between Mayor Hawthorne and Aloe Black and to a lesser extent Adele. Um, yeah, it's great stuff. And Robin, 
I will see you tomorrow. I got both hands in the frame now. Woo!